A Binance update in Nigeria and WUX claims bragging rights over tokenized treasury bills. You're watching Coindesk Daily. I'm your host, Jen Sanasi. The wife of Nadim Anjarwala, an executive who was caught in Binance's scuffle with Nigeria, has denied reports of his arrest in Kenya and subsequent extradition back to Nigeria. It was reported that Nigerian authorities found the executive in Kenya and were working with authorities to bring him back to the country. This after Anjarwala was detained in February as the country accused Binance of manipulating the local exchange rate tax evasion, and money laundering. Coindesk has reached out to Interpol, Kenya's foreign ministry, and Nigeria's police force for comment. Crypto exchange WuX is claiming bragging rights. It says it is the first crypto exchange to offer retail customers exposure to tokenized U.S. Treasury bills. The yield-bearing product was unveiled today and is called Real World Assets Earn Vaults. WuX Chief Operating Officer Willie Chuang said in an email that the initiative bridges a crucial gap between traditional financial securities and the dynamic world of cryptocurrency. Tokenization, especially involving bank-grade assets like U.S. Treasuries, has become popular, partly in response to interest rate increases and now dovetailing with the current crypto bull run. Last year, crypto investment platform Finblock said it was planning to offer retail users access to tokenized T-bills. And Thailand has decided to block unauthorized crypto platforms to increase the efficiency of law enforcement in solving the problem of online crime. That's according to announcement on Friday. Thailand Securities and Exchange Commission says it has considered the impact on users and will give them time to manage their accounts before being unable to use the services. The Thai SEC cited earlier decisions by nations like India and the Philippines in blocking unauthorized platforms in their announcement. That's it for Coindesk Daily. Get more updates on Coindesk.com and we'll see you next time.